Hi, my name is Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I am here in the office with Artifact behind me, hiding in the shadows. <laughs> and we are about to take apart this supernova reactor which was run during the practical day at the Brno Advanced Energy Systems Symposium. And we will see if we have burnt through the fused quartz. And if we haven't, then the sample will be able to be sent off to the beam line in Lithuania with some control samples by its side to see if we have potentially remediated the carbon-14 in there, which will cause a few issues for radiocarbon dating. So let's see what happens. And we have opened this up, and if you look inside, it looks that... Uh, we haven't burnt through the fused quartz. It looks in lovely con intact condition, so that's great. The other great news is that inside you can see there that the vast majority of the igniter uh, lead or rod, as you call it, the pencil lead, is intact, which is great because that means there's very little contamination of the bulk of the material, so uh, that can largely be discounted. And so we have a sample here. Now, this didn't run for very long. <clears throat> uh, Dr. George Eagley said that typically you start to see effects after three minutes. So I still think it's valuable to send this off to the beam line to see if there are any measurable reduction in the carbon-14 compared to a control sample. Because if it is measurable at this time of operation, then obviously it would be more significant if it ran for longer. The other thing is that in our prepared uh, impact uh, areas here, I dare to dream that one of them has an impact on it potentially. Uh, and difficult to know, but uh, at some point we will look at this under the microscope. Seems to be a hexagonal mark on there. Don't know, there seems to be also a couple of black spots on there and one clear spot on the brass sample. And they are of the kind of order of scale that we see on the other parts of the reactor. So these were freshly polished and inserted into the hole as witness marks. We'll have a look at those under the microscope, possibly even the SEM to see if there's any impacts there and these would not be from a broken magnetron because we fixed the magnetron and uh, I don't think anyone can see any holes through this so maybe they are neutral and they got excited by the grounded case who knows anyway that's all I have to say about that so thank you very much for your time I'll see you in the next video